hello everybody hello i know there's nobody here now so this time may not suit most people and i haven't done live video for months so but today i'm coming live and i know it's not everybody's timing or everybody's best time to be online but as i always say i like to make my video even though it's live i have a fan on it's such a hot day because we're in the summer and the weather is very warm hi as always i make my video and then people can come and watch later because we can never find the time that suits all of us so i always come make my live video and then i um i leave it here people that come later can watch it and those that are live can watch it uh, live as well if you're joining me just let me know where you're watching me from let me know hi guys i can see people coming now um it's a very important uh, topic you know i have always said this from the beginning that unfortunately a lot of people prefer the drama aspect of a lot of stories but i like to focus on the areas we can learn something from um we can grab one or two lessons and you know a message that is in the drama okay but unfortunately the drama sells better than the you know the educational or the um the learning aspect of things so um now let me just go straight so it's, it's not going to be a long video maybe like 30 minutes I, i'm not going to go up to an hour um, and that's part of the reasons I don't do live videos because you end up dragging it em ends up dragging and dragging and ends up into an hour or more and stuff like that. Can you guys let me know? I have a fan on. Is the noise disturbing? Is the noise in the way? If that makes sense. Hi, hi, Barbara. Um, is the noise? I can turn it off. If you, the noise, can you guys hear me clearly? Or is the fan, um, the noise of the fan? Um, affecting the quality of my audio just let me know guys N no so the fan can stay the fan can stay yeah okay uh, it's a tiny little fan it's not too noisy hi hi gabriella hi so hi okay so then let me go oh thanks for those that can hear you very well thank you so much so i do i'll leave the fan the fan can stay it's very you can even see from my the reflection on my glasses the sun is very is very hot day today so now uh i want to talk about i came across a video where cheta may said something he said okay i'm gonna go straight to the point and just go 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 okay perfect thanks barbara um okay so um cheta may said something and unfortunately people don't listen to those kind of things or they don't focus on those kind of things um oh there are two barbaras okay um okay they don't focus on this kind of things because they are not the drama aspect of it all they are not the basketball part of it but there is something in it he said there was a time when he said exactly it's the same thing you know gabriella said it's terribly hot it is so hot over here as well everybody's complaining most part of europe is now the real summer has started instead of since okay let me go straight into the point he said something and if people can learn from what he was saying it can save a lot of marriages it can save a lot of people okay he was speaking about he said there was a time in his marriage i came across the video where he was saying there was a time in his marriage when his wife was no longer interested in the bedroom dance that's what i like to call it um bedroom dance i always kind of try to use words that even if you're watching this and your children are around you won't be they won't be asking you oh mom what does that mean or whatever it won't be a word or words that they will be like you know inappropriate words for kids to hear so if you know what i mean we're all adults right uh, bedroom dance he said there was a time when his wife had no interest in bedroom dance he tried everything and she refused she was not interested in bedroom dance he had to go all the way to her father to go complain to her father that ah she's not uh, dancing in the bedroom with me yeah that's a good way of saying it. yeah and he went to all the way to her father to tell her father that she was not bedroom dancing with him and he and then he, he reported to his mother as well let me tell you guys that is a man that is interested in saving his marriage it is a, let me because and he let me let me bring up some of the points he said i'm going to try and put it bum 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 straight to the point okay so now that is a man that is interested because men that are not interested that would have been an excuse to go out there oh you never heard it he, there was a video he said it i came across the video where if you if any of you have the link of that video you can put it here people can go watch it and hear what he said now if it's a man that has been looking for a reason to be unfaithful that was a massive opportunity and that would have given him a big excuse to say you know i had to go out there because my wife refused to bedroom dance with me you get my point but he went to his father i mean the wife's father 
and told the wife father that your pekin is not dancing anymore with me she doesn't want to dance uh, in the bedroom with me anymore he said it to his mother as well the mother stepped in and called the wife and said ah my son say you are not a uh, bedroom dancing no my daughter i don't he didn't say exactly they didn't say exactly exactly what the mother-in-law said that's the man's mother they didn't say exactly what he said but i'm just imagining maybe like ah my daughter you have to you know but i'm just thinking and according to the wife right the wife then said that the when her father came to her to tell her that ah this is the work of the devil i would be embarrassed though <laughs> well you shouldn't be this is the thing people should be able to have these conversations a man should be able to go to his mother and say ah my wife no degree let me speak english my wife is refusing bedroom dance Oh my goodness i'm loving this lipstick my it's not lips it's a lip gloss my one of my daughters she had the lip gloss i have grown daughters and she had this lip gloss and i loved it i was like but her color was different i was like oh can you get me and she went and got me this color and it absolutely okay sorry 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 okay now now adults should be able to have all these conversations you cannot save a marriage if you're not ready to speak up the truth me anyway, sorry i had the call there the call is true oh what kind of hala is this one now see the call has disturbed my video how do i even stop calls from coming through okay so yeah and how can i stop calls from coming through i don't know anyways um oh sorry let me make my phone silent sorry guys because silent because uh-huh so um what was i saying you see yeah people should be able to if you want to save your marriage it's important adults should be able to have an adult conversation this is not happening because if you say i cannot tell my mother i cannot tell her father then they are going to be in a marriage where there's nothing happening and let me tell you if we cannot lie to ourselves just as men love food that bedroom dance in short eh, if care is not taking a man would rather starve like forget about food than to miss bedroom dance on you yeah thank you so much you said very uh thank you so much um the lip gloss okay now it's good for adults to have this adult conversation. So he said that, but according to, I think the wife was there when he was saying it. And the wife said when her father came to her and told her that, ah, this is the work of the devil, oh, this, that, that she was so annoyed with the father. She was like, you know, get out of my house, you know, get out of my house. How dare you? Or something like that. The wife didn't want to even listen. But you see why it's good that the man tried different options because he spoke to his mother as well. But somehow the wife listened to the, her husband's mother. And that was how they started. She said her libido was uh, libido was low and this and that. Let me address the area of libido as well. Okay. When people started, there's always a way they started. Or some people may have dated before they got married. And if you dated and you already did bedroom dance before you married and you were very active then, a lot of men can actually choose a wife according to how active they are when it comes to bedroom dance see men have criteria. let's be honest they like the bedroom dance a woman that can do it hallelujah a woman that can cook hallelujah a woman that is organized a woman all these qualities so if you had that quality at the beginning right and then down the line it begins to decline don't forget that there were some things that made him you know want to um, to say you are the one at the beginning if those things that made you the one begin to dwindle He's going to struggle. Okay? Speaking about how much men love this thing. Like I said, they would, a lot of men would rather forget food. They, would, they can fast for seven days. If you have to say, choose one. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying, that's how much they value bedroom dance. Right? Okay. There was something else he said. He said that, you know, and which I said, which, which, which is why I'm saying that he's a man, he came across as a man that really wanted to save his marriage. Because in Nigeria, for especially in Nigeria, where there's so much poverty, and unfortunately a society where from day one boys are raised to hustle and make money and be prosperous and acquire and acquire and acquire financial success and girls are raised it's changing but that was the typical way girls are raised to you know know how to cook know how to keep a house clean know how prepared the prepare the girls to grow up and be a good wife a good housewife forever so our society is not that balanced where you can say okay you know the gap between yeah the gap between the men's wealth and women's wealth is uh, is massive so it puts a lot of girls ladies women at a disadvantage at a disadvantage so if a man has change 
For him to get a woman to dance in the bedroom with him is very easy. When I say very easy, very easy. Especially if the man has change. Right? And okay, for example, uh, Cheta Ume now, you know, okay, in the past a lot of people didn't know him. Now, it is that, there's that added thing that is a face that is known. And there's something about a face that is known. It makes the person well, um, like, okay, I'm not saying he's that, let's say a lot of people... A lot of people may not know them in Nigeria, may not know him in Nigeria, but there are more people that are beginning to know him now because since they came out on social media. So that has actually added to him again in Nigeria. Let me tell you, a lot of uh, uh, women, a lot of ladies are very happy and very willing and ready to, what's the English word, unseat married women. Sorry, married women, not women. Married women. There are a lot of women, ladies, that have, they know that man is married. They know him. They know that he's his wife. <clears throat> but if they have a chance to unseat that woman, to take that woman's place, that woman's position, they will jump at it. So, forget about even Cheta Ume. On a normal ground, any man at all that is not poor, to get a woman in Nigeria is very easy. Because ladies, unfortunately, end up falling in love according to what do you have. Because they are poor and they are struggling. I liked him at the start, but now he's just a bit of a pleb. What is a pleb? I know it's not a big grammar. What is a pleb? Okay, now going back to what I was saying. So, he said it in that video that there was a way he phrased it. Some, something like, you know, imagine being deprived of a bedroom dance in his house. When the country is full of women that will willingly, like if he wanted to get a woman, he can easily get a woman anywhere. For him to be doing that is because he wanted to save his marriage. And it is true. But you, uh, you know the risk about allowing a man to get to the point where he even gets tempted to want to dance outside. Some women may be like, oh, let him dance. Nana Isabi, I'm the one in the house. The problem is this. The men can go and be dancing and come back and say, yes, this is my wife, and be dancing. But there is a lady that they may dance with and get stuck. I'm telling you, there is a lady they may dance with and be like, ah, is this what I have been missing? Ah, before you know it, they can fall in love. Me, eh, let me tell you guys what I think. Oh, some men, not all men. Some men, eh, they fall in love. Okay, there's this thing that they say that a woman has to love you to be able to bedroom dance with you, right? Typically, women want to fall in love, typically, before they go into the bedroom dance thing. But for men, it's the other way around. It's like, it is when the bedroom dance is good that can actually make a man fall in love with you. So you see that there's here and there about it. And so if this men go and dance and dance, and then they, there is a place or there's a woman they will dance with that they will never come back. There are men that are willing to give it all up. They can give up the house, give up everything you guys own to go and start afresh with that woman that is giving them bedroom dance. And that is why women should be careful. And let me say it. Don't, you know, there are some men that are just uh, um, womanizers, all of that. But there are some men that never plan to be unfaithful. But they, unfortunately, they are in a situ situation whereby the bedroom dance is no longer happening at home. The, the, you see, eh, men libido, in short, I don't know. Typically, you will see a 90-year-old man the man is still ready to dance. So he did their body, not to talk of Cheta Ume, that is like a 14-year-old boy. I'm not saying he's, a, he's not that age old, but he's still young. You can see the way he's bouncing around like a, one, a, a young boy that just entered uh, secondary school. Like a junior you know, I say junior you know, infant. What did, they, what did they call them in Nigeria? JSS1. You can see the energy. He's still young. He's still like, look at his... Um, if, if you look at him, you can see that the way he's... Hey, English words sometimes are hard. The way, the way they embody, how do I say that in English? The way he is, the way he's hyper, the way he is still a very young man. Like, he's, I think they say he's over 40, but he's still young. You understand? So the energy, can I imagine the energy he has? He ha the guy has energy. So he needs, that energy needs to be used. It's almost like a sneeze. You see, sneeze is a natural thing. That sometimes, if the sneeze is coming, you're like, oh, let me act posh. The sneeze will disgrace you. The sneeze will just escape by itself. Because it's a natural thing that you can't hold it. There is so much juice in a lot of men that they need to spill that juice.
And then imagine whereby the man now is married and say, okay, I am married. I can do all the juicing I want to do. Okay, sorry. All the bedroom dance I want to do. And then they are not getting it. It is hard. Especially when you are there with your wife in the same bed. And you are like, I actually have this here, but I can't have it. It is hard. I'm talking about them, but I'm saying we can apply it to our own lives. I've made a video about it in the past uh, on my YouTube channel about when things like this happen. Okay, now, if a woman's libido is low, what has made it low? You have to look into yourself because, you see, love is a two-way thing, right? A man is loving you, you have to be loving the man as well. Can I have likes, please? Now, education, I give you. Some of you have to go to marriage counseling to collect this thing. I give... <laughs> Let me not brag too much. <laughs> but no jokes aside. No jokes aside. And don't forget, you guys can always leave your opinions and people can learn. Especially if you had experiences or you have one or two things uh, to teach, teach people about it. Now, um, a lot of things that can affect your libido. If you love your husband and you know that he, this man, he day in body, he needs to let the juice out. It's like it, it's choking them when he's there. When they let it out, it's like they begin, they're they able to breathe after they let it out. Right? So, as a woman, some of the things that can affect your libido can be when you're no longer in love with the man. That can happen. Because love, without, without love, if man touches you, people say that, sorry, without love, if a man touches you, it feels like they are slicing you with a knife. It feels like every touch is, it aches. That is one aspect. So you have to ask yourself, am I still in love with this man? Then if that is the problem, start seeing ways you can rebuild your love in your marriage. It happen. It does happen. So I'm telling you, I'll let speak pigeon English. Sorry, guys. You know, it happens that the love can begin to fade. That's when couples find ways to rekindle their love. Okay? Another aspect can be, uh, what's it called now? Uh, tiredness. You can be, it can happen that maybe you are tired. Ask yourself, what are the things that are making you tired? Are there, some, are there things you can cut off? Or are there things that you must do? Even if it's um, your work or whatever, ask yourself, can I cut down on my work? Because there's no point in having more money, but there's no peace at home. Can I cut down? Or if your case is, in your own case, maybe you and your husband, you're not joint account. Some couples are not joint account. And maybe you work, I, I don't know, I'm a nurse, so I do night shifts, right? So like I could do four nights, three nights, depending. But by the time I do three nights, I've covered what some people do in five in, in five days, right? Because I do long hours. I can be doing 12, 13 hours, right? Now, if you're doing, let's say, um, three hours, uh, three, three nights, uh, three shifts in a week. I'm using myself as an example. And your husband is always uh, ready for you're not ready. Because don't forget that when you finish, you still have to come home, attend to the children, do this one, do that one. I'm just using three shifts, for example. You can, if, <clears throat> if it's possible, let's say, if you're not joint account, everybody's different, you know, and you can say, okay, if, if, you, if you tell your husband, okay, I, I don't want to miss out on this extra day because this is extra money that I make. And uh, can you, if you can afford, if your husband can afford to say, okay, you know what? From the money I contribute, I'm going to add more so that you can cut down on your shifts. There are, I'm talking about negotiations now that are involved in saving a marriage. You can cut down on your shifts so that you can, you can be less tired. Or uh, the children are, if, what if I get a house help that can be helping you with the children. Let me reduce this. I think it's getting a bit too loud. Wait one second. I think this is less noise. This is less noise, but I can't feel it. So, yeah, that's better. Uh -huh. So, what if I bring house help to be helping you so that you won't be as tired as this? Find ways to reduce your tiredness. Because every other thing you're chasing, when, if it gets to the point where your marriage is being affected. Sit back and say, lie, lie. I will not let this destroy my marriage. Another thing I, have, I discussed, when I discuss topics like this on, uh, on YouTube, another thing I said is what I call helping your husband's ministry, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you don't feel like it, that you will, you will not interested at all. There are ways to help a man. I cannot be the one to give you guys lectures about that one. There are a lot of other ways you can help a man. Don't forget that once they spill the juice, their body will come down. See, I learned pidgin English before I learned English. So I, I can't, I, every time I'm speaking English, pidgin English comes in. There are a lot of ways to help a man to just so that he can spill his juice. After he has spilled his juice, let me tell you, oh God, I don't know how much I can say. <laughs> but there are a lot of other ways. A lot of you, you can contribute to in the comment section. Which other ways can you help a man's ministry, if you know what I mean? If the man has the urge, he wants to go, he wants, but you're not in the mood, right? 
There are other ways. I don't know. You can use your hand. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to say what. <laughs> we are adults here now. You can use your hand. There are other... God, do. I don't know. Your English is great and I understand most of the pigeon. Okay, but some people may not understand. So, guys, do you know any other way woman can help a man's ministry? Suggest them in the comment section so I can read it. It's not only me that will be saying, let me you guys contribute to. There are a lot of ways that even if a woman doesn't feel like it, right? There are a lot of other ways a woman can help a man uh, climax. That's the word, right? So, can you guys suggest? I realize that this video, the moment I'm speaking and you guys are commenting, your comments don't come through that, that very minute. So, let me see. Can you guys make other suggestions? How a woman can, if a woman is not in the mood, but the husband is in the mood, other ways a woman can help the husband to, you know, reach the promised land without necessarily going, you understand, you know, the normal, traditional uh, route. Uh, route so uh, let me see if i can see the suggestions guys don't be shy we are not kids here as far as i know facebook is only for 18 and over right so i am asking when cheta Ume was saying there was a time in his marriage where his wife was not interested in the bedroom you know bedroom dance and he he was really struggling because he needed to you know be with his wife if you know what i mean no and i'm not saying that as a woman if a man wants it and you are not interested as a woman you know what are other ways? And I'm saying there are a lot of other ways a woman can help a man just to, you know, reach the promised land without the normal bedroom dance. Suggestions. You know, because this thing is killing marriages. Oh, I'm going to increase it. It's getting hot again. It's, it's killing marriages where a woman decides that she's not interested. She doesn't want to. Sorry, guys. It's too... We're in the middle of the summer and the weather is so, so hot. See, I'm sweating already. Yeah, I'm looking at the comments. No, but everybody's shy. I'm the only one to speak. Okay. I've only made one suggestion there. But you see, it may sound like a funny topic. And like I say, this drama, I see that most people are more interested in the drama aspect of it. But I like to look at the educational aspect that we can learn something from. Because, you know, in marriage sometimes, people get carried away with trying to make money, trying to chase after wealth and more money, more money, more money. And they forget the little tiny details, the little tiny things in the marriage that makes a marriage sweet, right? There are some men that no matter how good you are in the bedroom, no matter how amazing you are, no matter what you do, they will still end up being unfaithful. But there are some men that if they get what they want at home, they will never go outside. And Teta Ume, like I said already, is very correct. <laughs> there is... Gabriela said, Gabriela said, there is no point in pleasure without the bang. My husband does three jobs and I, I stay at home with the, sorry, with the children. So, okay, okay. Uh, with the children. So we make time, we make times in the mornings before everyone wake up. Uh, but what if, sorry, my glasses is sweat. What if you're on a day that you don't feel like it? That's my question. What about a, on a day where you don't feel like it? And you just don't feel like a man getting, you know, you know what I mean, going all the way. You just don't feel like it. What do you do in situations like that? You know, I've been in situations like that, but I never, let me put it this way. I never let my man go hungry. That's me. If you know what I mean by go hungry. Never. Mm -mm. I, morning is the best time. Um, everybody is different. I prefer night. Then you can just go to sleep after that. I, I. I don't know, maybe because because maybe because I put too much effort in it. Because <laughs> oh my god. Maybe because I put too much effort and then you're exhausted. Do you know what I mean? So and then if I'm going to work or whatever, but I I prefer night, then I can sleep it off and wake up in the morning with a uh, full of energy, if that makes sense. But everybody's different. That's um Gabriela said night uh, day is better. So now I'm speaking about the area of I never feel like that. Touch wood. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um so you're always in the mood. That's good. But um, Unfortunately, we now live in a world where, you know, um, um, you know, it's crazy though as the world is at the moment. In the past, men used to go be the breadwinner and the wife can be at home and just be 100% at home and, you know, she'll be rested by the time she comes back. Before he comes back, by the time he comes back, by the time he comes back, she's ready, willing, you know, to a great extent. Especially like in countries in Nigeria where they have house girl, have driver, they have every, you know what I mean? But 
um, Western society is completely different. I can tell you it's different. We are our own driver, we are our own gate man, we are our own chef, our own, you understand, lesson teacher and everything. We do all of it. And yet we still make time. And that's the problem. You know when they say a lot of Nigerian women in uh, Nigerian nurses in America, they said, ah, their marriages have this, have that, have that. I think, they say they begin to feel too big. But let me tell you what I believe happens. What I believe happens in a lot of cases, nursing job is draining, right? But a lot of women end up, a lot of nurses abroad, they end up doing overtime and overtime and overtime. And it will burn you out. A woman that has done 13 hours shift gets home. She's exhausted. So the last thing on her mind, maybe bedroom dance may be the last thing on her mind. Maybe sort out the children or whatever. And it kills marriages. It does kill marriages. Let me tell you guys, let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. In most marriages where they are no longer bedroom dancing, I'm sorry, it's over. Or else the man has issues whereby he has no interest. There's something that has affected him for the whatever that has killed his drive. Naturally, men have healthy drives. Naturally. You right? Somebody like Cheta Ume, like I said, he has a lot of hel uh, healthy drive left in him. He's only, I think, in his 40s. He, is, he has a long mileage. <laughs> long mileage, like... You know mileage, you know when the car is getting old, the mileage, if the, the car has done a lot of work, how do I even say it? That guy is young. Uh, why can't a traditional, a traditional married woman not be interested when she is not in her periodic cycle or sick? Um, truth be told, um, every woman would be in the mood when she is satisfied financially. Satisfied financially. That's another thing, you see... We live in a world where everybody wants to have more money, more money, more. People now focus on chasing money more than anything else. Like, you, I made a video in which I was saying that we, we, we chase money because we want it to better our lives. But unfortunately, we got to the point where people are actually chasing the money and forgetting that the betterment of life, that is the reason. They forget the betterment of the life. How am I saying it? You know what I mean? So the money becomes... The, the 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 focus rather than oh we've made this money for example let me say if a couple were poor and they were sleeping on the mat bedroom dance on the mat is not easy you know what i mean and then now they are making money they've bought a more comfortable bed oh wow now now we're comfortable we can you know bedroom dance on a comfortable bed the money should be coming to make your life easier to make your life sweeter when the money becomes the focus and every other every other thing is neglected it is a problem it kills marriages. That is why people end up building a lot of wealth. Before we know it, they say they don't break up. Because they lost the focus. Money became the focus. And the money came and the other things were neglected. So they end up having the money and lose the marriage or lose the relationship. Am I making sense? I'm saying it here. There was a, I made this video, a, a video about this topic. And funny enough, the other day, we, well, uh, the other day I came across it. You no, know, the way um, I posted it on Facebook, and Facebook, the way Facebook will do a reminder, anniversary reminder of something you posted a year ago, and it, that came up. And then I saw Cheta Ome's video. I was like, you know, I always say when something like that happens, maybe may, sorry, when something like that happens, I see it as oh, maybe it's a side that I should speak about it. You never know whose marriage is going to save. We are in a in an era where women are comparing themselves with other women. I want to have that car. The one they have before was okay, but they want it. And they chase and chase, chasing a lot of external things that the internal affairs are suffering. What is my message? Never leave a man hungry. No matter, you know, they say a lot of times men have more libido than women. And everybody, every marriage is different. There are marriages where libidos match, you know. But in most cases, they say men have more. But if your husband is asking for it, and he's not getting it for a long time. Let me tell you guys. And I, I, I've said it. If there's no more bedroom dance. And like some people say for one year. My wife I never touch him. Is that one a marriage? Do you even know that in western society. If you married a woman. And you never ever slept with her. Never ever slept with her. That marriage will be annulled. You know what annulment is? It will be cancelled. Like it will be that you were never married. That is how important. How is that English now? They say consummation of a marriage. That's to show you how important that that two becoming one. Bedroom dance is part of what is making you guys one. Oh. But we say when two lay together, eh? two of them will become one. Let's not downplay the importance of bedroom dance. That is the message I'm sharing here. 
because you can destroy your marriage because of that. Ask yourself, what are the distractions? What if you always know libido? If it's hormonal, that's another one. There are a lot of ways you can find solution. A lot of women are undergoing menopause and they say because of that reason that, uh, what is it called now? You know, they their body. There are a lot of therapies, a lot of things that can be done. Don't forget it's about saving your marriage. And if you love your husband, let me say it. This is my opinion. My opinion. I believe if you love your husband, you will never let him starve in the bedroom. Because he's like, he's like, I don't even know how to phrase it. If it's like him having an injury and you're the only one there to help him to treat the wound and you left him there and say, I'm not going to treat the wound. It's almost something like that. It's a big part of it. Even in nursing, we talk about activities of daily, daily living. Sexuality, they dear too now. I be, I don't forget my nursing. <laughs> it's an important aspect of a human life. Right? So if your husband is asking and begging for it, one day, go and find out what your problem is. It needs, there is a solution for it. See, you guys know, you know, some men will say, I always support women, I always support women. But the thing is, Today, but another day, I make another video. Women will say, you're always supporting men. My, my own is not about supporting. But my thing is about speaking the truth. Our, a lot of our Nigerian men are very unfaithful. Not all, though. Because our society permits, all, almost permits it. When a man is unfaithful, they will say, what did you do? They will be querying the wife. While some men are, unfortunately, have made up their mind. That what are you? Let me not go. I have a friend that the man was unfaithful. She said, ah. She's, hmm. She said she has tried everything. So some people say, try this style. Try she says she has tried all the styles under, uh, under the sun. Yet, this man was still unfaithful. There was nothing she could do. This is what she told me. Oh. Eventually, the man, oh, I remember I was asking her, I said, ah, ah, because I knew she was like, trying to make sure the husband does not remarry. Eventually, the man remarried. And I said, ah, what happened? The husband, she said, what, what can I do? Let him remarry, let us rest. I mean, second wife, that's what I mean. Second wife. In Nigeria, he said, let him, he has, remarried, he has married second wife. Let me rest. I have tried. She said they tried. She said friends were advising her, try this style. Have you done this one? Try this. She said there's no style she did not try to do in the bedroom. She said she got fed up and said, you know what? Let him go and marry second wife. Let me rest. And eventually the man did. Right? And let me not even go to her. But there are some men that are, no matter what, it will, some men that have started to marry second wife until they marry their second wife before their body will come down. Some may still marry second wife and still be playing around. Not to talk of you understand? So, I say it again. This drama, social media, a lot of people focus on the drama. I want people to focus on lessons they can grab and say, hey, oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. And apply to your life. Dramas come and go. But your life is with you today you were born to the day you leave this world. The lessons you grab along the way in this your journey of life. Can I have likes, please? Can I get my likes and my love? I don't ask for stars, though, you see. I know. Now, like and... I can hear the color. Like and love, now I ask for. Am I asking for too much? I, I see big advice where they give from many years of experience. Eh? I'm slowly, slowly hitting, about to hit 50. So I have some experience. So now where just they come, I they teach you now. I they teach you now, small, small. She be some people have made video. I mean, some people have be claiming that. Let me not go into all of that. So the grabbing the lesson from those of us that have been around for a while. Okay? Grab, because, you know, I, I was saying, I have this family group and whatever, and I was talking about how a lot of our elders, they didn't teach us things. They didn't teach us a lot of things. Our mothers, and they don't say anything. You just go there and start discovering by yourself. A lot of knowledge, knowledge should be passed on to the next generation because they've lived that life. They've, and I said it, I said, a lot of graves are holding on to big, powerful lessons and stories that were never shared. And that's why I like to share, you know, what I feel people can grab. And I like to learn from others as well. So, I don't come live often, but I'll try. I don't come, uh, do you come live often, uh, Summer? This is the first time I've caught you live. I don't come often, but I'm going to try. It doesn't really suit me. I like, I typically make videos, edit and post. And I rarely actually post that. Um, I typically make a typed post on a, on Facebook. I don't typically like a, a message uh, post rather than uh, videos, but I'm going to try, um, you know, as much as I can to come live sometimes. So that's basically what I wanted to, if you're just joining us now, I basically discuss about how Chetawu may talk about how in his
his marriage, there was a time, you know, when his wife was not interested in the bedroom actions at all. And he was basically feeling starved. And I was speaking about how women can overcome situations like that where they don't end up pushing their husbands away. Cheta Ume is a young man, right? Uh, and the same story goes for a lot of men, even old men. There's me, I've said it a billion times. I have no problem with age, big age gap relationships. I have no problem with it. The one I never accept is polygamy. I don't, me, eh? I don't care if you're 100 years older than me, right? I'm just saying, as long as you treat me right, as long as you treat me really right. Uh, no, uh, no, sir, uh, uh, sorry, somebody's crying to him. I said, yes, I'm clapping. My husband don't like that anyway. So I let him know. And then he knows. So he waits five days next. Okay. During the monthlies, even during the monthlies, there are still ways to help a man's ministry. Okay. I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? For me, age gap doesn't really bother me. As long as you treat me right. Once you treat me right, I fall. Yakata. That's how I fall in love. My own is how you treat me right me self uh, anyways that is, is how you treat me so age gap well okay going back to what so even if you are married to a man that is 20 years your senior he did your body a man that is 30 years your senior 10 years older than you 15 years older no matter the age gap men have it the drive he did your body not to talk of a man as young as um as um as um what's it called now Cheta Ume, and he was, to be honest, in that, you know why what he was saying was important? Because he was speaking from the perspective of a man, but somehow, um, um, the wife never gave him the chance to finish some of the things he was saying in that video. Why it was good for him to speak is that he is the man. It's good to hear it from a man's perspective. You understand? How they feel if their wives, if when their wives are not in the mood how it affects them so that people, any woman watching that can say okay so this is how it feels me and my husband are 37 years age gap you see what i just said you see what i just said you know age gap marriage and she's telling me that they are, they are they are dancing regularly in the bedroom you see can you imagine a man that's 37 years older than her yet his drive is still good enough so imagine cheta Ume that is like um like i said like a, like he's like a when i say his energy wise he's like a 14 year old boy he is very lively. He has the energy. You can see the way he's he's always like you can see the way he is. I don't in my language now how do I even say it in English? It's like you know what I mean. He's like a boy that just started secondary school. He's full of energy. He needs to expel. He needs to exhale. He needs to, you know what I mean? No, I mean we are both oh <laughs> sorry. Oh I thought you meant he's 37 years older than you. Okay, oh, she said, I mean, we are both 37 years old. Oh, sorry, Gabriela. Okay, now, so you can imagine somebody like Chetan, he is young, he is fit, he is, you know, so the energy is there. He still has a lot of juice in him that needs to be spilled, right? So, and he did the right thing by reaching out to his father-in-law and going to his mother and saying, my wife is not bedroom dancing with me. So men that have been looking for excuse to go and play outside would have grabbed that chance. And say, what should I do? She's not bedroom dancing with me. And let me tell you, if your husband is not getting it for months, for years, whatever, and you think he's not getting it somewhere else, sorry, you are lying to yourself. Eventually, he will get it somewhere else. He will. And there are a lot of women out there that are more than willing, more than willing. And if they even know he's married, they will give him extra dose. Like they will give him, you know what they say, Jara is like fissy English. What's the English word? You know, you give them extra. You know, you, they, when they know he's married, they will give him extra to keep him coming. Because their aim then is like, okay, I have to play my game well so that I can take him from her. Especially for the fact that the guy is not wretched. Even for myself, they get collect woman. When I say farmer, you know, traditional local farmer that is struggling, that is not, I'm not talking industrial, um, industrial level. You know, a farmer on a, on a, and on a, and on a uh, tongue twisted, an uneducated local farmer that has barely any money, whatever, can still get a woman. Not to talk of a man that is not poor. He is okay. By Nigerian standard, he is okay. You understand? If he was not a man that wanted to save his marriage, that would have been an excuse. Tell mother-in-law. I mean, tell his mother. He will not tell his mother, tell anybody. He will just keep it up. 
They catch him. He say, ah, it's not my fault. It's my wife that is not giving me. And everybody will support him and say, yes, why did she not give him? You understand? So I'm going to end it here. It's gone exactly about 30 minutes and I didn't want to make it long. So this is my message in this video. This drama that is all over social media. Please, when you, I, I believe that the best you can do is grab what you can learn from it and apply it to your own lives. And uh, I asked a question there, if you can suggest in the comment section as well, if a woman is not in the mood, but the husband is, wants it, what other ways can a woman help a man's ministry if she doesn't want the whole shebang? You know the way, if you want to do the whole dance, your whole body is involved in the dance. But if you don't want the whole dance, there are other ways. I've given a suggestion. Sometimes you can use your hand to help a man's ministry, right? Somebody's going to come now and tell me that it's a sin. According to the, it's a sin to use hand. I never say I have a Bible. Oh, eh, eh, eh. So it's a, it's a sin too to deprive your husband, Abi. Eh, eh. Is it not a sin? Abi, when I will come and say it's a sin, if the marriage break up, we are talking about how to save it now. So, what that, I would like you to suggest, any other way, men actually, men should actually come and tell us in the comment section, if your wife is not in the mood, which other ways would you like a wife to help you? Because it's good to hear from you guys' perspective, because what we think is the best, so men, okay, what we think is the best, Men may be like, oh, that's not actually what works. But every man is different. But some men can actually suggest to us, what ways can your wife help your ministry, if you know what I mean, can help you so that your body, to help calm down your shaking body, right? Calm you down, to help you spill your juice so that your body can calm, uh, calm down. You know, leave them in the comment section. I'm going to read this last comment and then I go, oh, bye, uh, bye Nusa uh, uh, Woma. Uh, I am off to work. Oh, <clears throat> thanks for... Okay, I'm going to read it. Truth be told, people are carried away through uh, the influence of euphoria, euphoria exploration, exploration in, in so doing, losing who love them most. It happens, vice versa, both. Uh, it happens both ways, it's true. That's why we make these videos. It can save somebody's marriage. Not one time have I ever said no. No, uh, no, no way. Why? When I'm stressed or not in the mood, on that day then that makes you feel better okay thank you so much gabriella i'm going to end it here guys don't forget to leave your opinions in the comment section and let people grab from it the point is this is to save marriages to save marriages things that can save marriages um i'm going to end it here thank you all for watching until the next time guys uh i may come live later in the day i'm going out now but i think i'll come back i think i'm going to be home in about maybe five hours in about five hours, I think, uh, I'll come back like live. Thank you so much. And thanks for the loves, love and hype, likes. Guys, don't forget to give me my loves and likes. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, maybe later. Bye. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. I told you guys I'll come back later. So this is the later now. And it's not going to be a long one. It's going to be a short one. And as always, I like to make my videos. And uh, when I, whenever I do a live video, I, you know, I don't wait for people to turn up. I just do it, and people can come later because I notice that. Hi, I can see people coming now. Um, some people don't get the notification straight away. Some people get it slowly. Um, like it trickles in, and I don't want to like be. Like I always say, I like when I want to make my video, I just come here, say it, boom, 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 I'm gone. It's going to be about maximum 30 minutes video. So if you missed what we talked about in the morning, uh, you may want to check that out so you know what we're, what this topic is about. So we have a massive heat wave, excuse me, massive heat wave here in most part of Europe anyways have a, a massive, hi Monica, hi. Um, yeah, massive heat wave. Thanks for the love. Oh, wow. I didn't have to ask people like give me. Okay, now let me jump straight into the video. So in the morning we talked about, um, what's it called now? I, I was saying that unfortunately people are more interested in the drama that they are not focusing on what they can learn from it. Dramas come and go, but the lessons you learn along the line and things you learn from other people's stories, you know, they will live with you forever. And I was talking about, um, there was a video I came across where, Cheta was basically trying to explain something that I think is important for a lot of women to understand. But somehow he never got a chance to really say it all. He was interrupted. There was a bit of interruption going on and he never got to. And I said, it's important to hear from people like that. And people left comment and said, he, uh, let me read the comment somebody left. And I was say, he pointed at something very important that a lot of marriages need to be, women have to be careful about. 
and he talked about how there was a time in his marriage where his wife didn't want any bedroom dance and uh, he had to go speak to her father and uh, the father came to speak to his daughter and she was like get out of my house right okay but then he spoke to his mother when his mother came and spoke to his wife that was when the wife listened right and um, let me read these comments people left okay this comment said this woman was saying that if it's her that she would kick hi kim kim sadik hi she said she would kick um what's his name um, cheta out for for even going to speak with his wife's father and speaking with uh, to his uh, mother that she would let me read it so i don't say what she didn't say okay so there was a comment by nosa a, a, a woman in which he I, I read it during that live video i made it earlier today so if you after this you can watch it if you don't know what we were uh, if you know if we are not if you were not here when we talked about it so um under nosa a, a woman's comment sarah uh, sharon said um being in the mood when satisfied financially is called prostitution because um Nosa said that truth be told, every woman would be in the mood when she is finan she is satisfied financially, right? So she replied to that comment saying, um, uh, being in the mood when a satisfied financially is called prostitution. There is no room for that in a marriage. I wanted to close that door. There is no room for that in a in a marriage. And uh, and as for Cheta, right? She said going to her father. And his mother to complain, I would have sent him packing to live with either of them and never let him darken my doorstep again. Right? So Sharon feels that for him to have even complained, to have gone to his, his father-in-law to say, my wife is not bedroom dancing with me, if you know what I mean, bedroom dancing, that she would have kicked him out. Anyways, I got from that comment, I think she's... She's not Nigerian. And I think, you know, good thing that the Western society, there's equality. A woman has a right. A man has a right. You know, unfortunately, in Nigeria, most of the time, is a, women can be suppressed, right? We, we less emphasize on that. That's true. But at the same time, in my opinion, I think that this right that women have in Western society, I think some women abuse it. It's not everything you kick a man out. Everything. The next man you are going to bring, you'll be ready to kick him out again. If a man says that he's not getting action in the bedroom and you, are not, you have not listened, he has been talking to you and say, ah, my, my wife, I need to spill my juice. And you say you're not in the mood all the time, all the time, all the time. If you keep saying that, after a while, he has to reach out to somebody. This is not Western society where, you know, you quickly just go and say, oh, let's go for counseling, let's go for... No, typically in Nigerian culture, family sort things out. I, in my opinion, he did the right thing by reaching out to his wife's father to say, ah, your daughter is not giving me any show in the bedroom or I'm reaching out to his mother. Luckily for him, the wife listened to his mother, but she did not listen to her father. You know, sometimes that's why it's good to try different, have different people, you know, and there's another reason why in Nigerian culture, they say marriage is not between two people, it's between two families. So when things happen, you have that, you know, extra resources of families kind chipping in and trying to restore a marriage. So him going to a father, there was nothing wrong with that. Because typical Nigerian man, not all low, but typical Nigerian man would be like, okay, she's not giving it to me. This is my excuse to go get it out there. And like, this is basically not even just excuse, license for him it was licensed for him to have been um followed the story from the beginning Lade, follow the story from the beginning maybe later you watch it again right that would have been a license not even excuse a license for him to have gone out there to go play with a what they call nigeria will say a way match so and what we address is the importance of communication right but for somebody if a husband let me tell you guys all right if a man comes for a man to say his wife is not giving it to him and he's making efforts to get her to give it to him is a sign of a man that wants to keep it in his marriage. Because a man that wants to be unfaithful would have seen that as a license. And I've said that Cheta is a young man. Somebody actually left a comment saying that uh, Nancy Ume is older than him. She's not older than him. She's just, she just looks older than him. 
he looks very young. So maybe she looks her age, but he looks younger than his age. And maybe because he looks, he looks petite, he's not overweight and all of that. It makes him even look even much younger. But I think they've said that he's over 40. But if you look at him, I'm, t I'm sorry. Sometimes he looks like, excuse me, <clears throat> he looks like a, like I said in my uh, uh, other video, he looks like a teenager. Like he has that vibrancy and uh, he's very energetic. Like a teenager, he's very... You can see whenever in the videos, you can see him. He's always like, you know, is they in body? Pigeon English. I don't know how to translate that. He's almost like the Cora. Because Cora is very, if I can use the word hyper, if I can use that. Some people are just naturally, naturally like that. They are very slang. I made that up. <laughs> you are very up to date for knowing all this slang. I made, I actually made up, is it the bedroom dance? I'm the one that made it up because, you know, a lot of time I try to say things that are, that if you're watching this and your children are around you, you won't feel uncomfortable because your children will not understand what I'm saying. That's what I typically want to do. Okay, now, let me, um, and I said it in that video, I want the men to actually leave us comments. The men, women are watching this. Let women, in that video, unfortunately, Cheta never got a chance to say everything he wanted to say because I think what he was saying is important. It's nice to hear it from a man's perspective. If a man is not getting the bedroom dance, men need, to, even women have it, you know, the, it's natural thing. Don't forget, nobody took libido and said, hey, give me extra libido. Or let's go, don't go and buy tablet. Too. God created human beings with libido in their body. It's there. But sometimes, some things may affect typically women, stress or one thing or the other. But when that happens, that's why there's need for communication. For a couple to, you know, communicate their needs and solve their problems before it becomes something else. Because that is how a lot of marriages have ended. Because let me tell you guys, I said it in the morning earlier, I made a video earlier, I didn't get a chance to even go this far. Let me tell you. Okay. Now, let me tell you. If a man would rather come back home, if you say, yeah, I have no energy because I was cleaning the house, for example, right? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you see, what I say this thing sometimes, some of the things I say don't apply to them, but I'm using their story for us to learn from because I think she has house help, she has all of those extra. But let's say a woman has said, I have no energy, that's why I cannot, I'll be cleaning house all day. Let me tell you, a man, that is how much men want this thing. A man would rather come home, go on his knee and clean the house on his knees so that he can get the bedroom dance. Because the urge. <laughs> Tina said, who is Cheta? You don't know who is Cheta. That means you are, okay. How do I, Cheta is, um, there's a woman called Cora. There's a woman, I'm on a live video. Uh, there's a woman called Cora. Cora. And there is, uh, Cora's sister is called Nancy. Cheta is Nancy's husband. That is who Cheta is. Tina is asking who is Cheta. Ah, Tina, I see you've changed your name. Congratulations. <laughs> My, I, I sprayed that place. There were too much fruit flies because the weather is warm. I bug sprayed it. So many food. Um, we, we have a heat wave. And whenever there's a heat wave, all the fruits ripen. I, have, I always have a lot of fruits. They ripen very quickly and then they attract a lot of... Can you close this door for me, please? Close this door for me, please. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, that is who Cheta is. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that's who Cheta is. Okay, so in, men don't play with this thing. Okay, let me read the other comment that somebody also left. That I feel like women sometimes I'm asking, what do we actually want? Um, there's a comment again, somebody else said, I said, if a man have to complain to his father of his wife and, and go to his mother. Okay, 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 sorry. If a man has to complain to the father of his wife, excuse me, excuse me and go to his mother because he's not getting, okay? That's, you know what I mean? That's a weak ass man. How does that make a man weak? For reaching out to his family to say, I have this problem in my marriage. He said, that's a weak ass man. A real man will wait. Oh, sorry. A real man will wait it out. Uh, not run to mommy. Look. He said a real man will wait it out, not run to mommy. Okay, let me block her name because let me just see if you guys can see the comment. I don't know if it's shown. If you go to the other video, you can. If you scroll, you will see it, right? So, for Cheta to have gone to his mother, well, she looks. Look, he went to the wife's father first. From what they explained, the wife's father came 
and spoke to the wife and the wife told the wife told her father to get out of his house according to her she said she told her father to get out of my house so he has options from what i have seen there's a way their father and his children they have there's a their relationship is a bit unusual right by nigerian standard oh, eh, eh. it's just it's too unusual imagine telling your father get out of my house it's not nigerian thing to do let's be honest uh, hi michael um <laughs> is that always job cora matter uh, well it's not about cora it's about marriages you need to listen uh -huh. it's about marriages so, mm -hmm. so forget about it's not there's no cora in this one it's about marriages and you know this kind of tiny problems that can blow out of proportion in marriages now what was i saying um now yeah he from he said that the even the the wife said it nancy said it straight away that when her father came and was telling her that ah this is no good though this is the work of the devil wanted she told him to get out of her house she told her father to get out of her house like i said when you look at your father and you look it's not the typical nigerian dynamics of father children relationship it's almost like they talk to him as they like that's what it looks like oh from where we're watching imagine she said it confidently that she told her father to get out of her house hey god you see this heat you know so she told her father to get out of her house it was when the mother in law now came and spoke that she then listened the obedees they don't have a relationship okay the beauties the obedees they don't have a relationship place they are just tolerating each other for the sake of social media money <clears throat> i know they their house but for her to say she told her father to get out of when the father was telling her that ah, a man needs it though you cannot deprive a man this is the work of the devil or this she told him to get out of his house. that's what she said but then when the mother-in-law came and spoke to her that was when she listened so obviously it looks like she has more respect for her own for her mother-in-law than she has for her father exactly cheta couldn't go to pot seller they call her pot seller there's nothing wrong with being a pot seller she sells pots so it shouldn't even be like that's my own thing it shouldn't even be a bad word because she sells pot and there's nothing wrong with it his money is legit you know um cheta um cheta couldn't go to the pot to pot seller's mom because she was diseased she would sorry oh it's long ago this your comment is long ago let me read it anyway uh she would be his first point you see my cloth and the white they are so we can't read it the background is white and my the, okay B -b she would be his first point of contact so he so her dad would be okay because in in his culture they must respect the dad it was okay to seek women counseling true from his own mother uh, however you must know the relationship and trust level of all involved. Tread carefully always. I believe Nancy did exactly as Cora is doing now. When she started earning enough money to save minds, the, the need for a husband became insignificant uh, in, to both. Uh, my observation and opinion only. Okay. Uh, Maury said, my husband... My husband mother is also involved in the home cause if i if i if sorry if reverse or was the case the woman would also involve the mother-in-law so i supported the man's action i personally supported there's okay so i personally supported but some people are saying if it's them they would have kicked him out imagine going to mommy i read the comment just now i do not believe and there was something else Cheta said like I say, women will rather focus on the saga and the drama aspect rather than the important things. And it's unfortunate he was not able to say everything he wanted to say. Why it's important is that we as women can sit down and discuss until men come and tell us how they feel. So be nowadays, they will show a um, lady with ordinary uh, 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 busy hairstyle, simple, and they say this is what men prefer compared to what's it called now, uh, um, bone straight, whatever, wig or whatever. Women can do a lot of things. Sometimes it takes hearing actually from the men, what do you want? Let's not get it wrong. So men can never, ever be satisfied, no matter what their wife does, no matter whatever. I shared about that in the morning. But whereby a man is consciously reaching out for help from his, own, his father-in-law and his mother, 
He is a man that wants to save the marriage. He said something else. He said in a country like Nigeria where he can easily pick another woman. That guy is young. Even if your husband is old. Don't say Chata is even my own. He's old. It's a lie. No matter how old a man is, a man, as long as he's not a wretched poor man, can always get another woman. That's, it's very common. And you know, our culture frowns more on a woman's unfaithfulness more than a man's unfaith unfaithfulness. So it kind of gives a lot of men the license to be like, uh, you know, I can do it because there's no, there's, no, yeah, there's no big stigma in our culture, Nigerian culture, when a man is unfaithful. But there's a big st stigma if a woman is unfaithful or whatever. So coming back to communication in a marriage, he did the right thing. What should he have done? Somebody said he should have waited. How did he say? How did she say? He waited it out or whatever. You know, now no, no, I see they do men for body. So if they do some women for body too, but there are some women that may say, and in money I addressed it. If a woman you have low, okay, your drive is low, a lot of the time is because of stress. You know, um, stress, a lot of factors can, when the love is gone, because I said it, for a lot of women, if a man, woman does not love you anymore, if you touch her, it's almost like you're slicing her with a knife. If the love is not there, then they can work. Couples can realize, okay, yeah, my love is fading. You know, that's why I don't enjoy you touching me. Right? They go, what's it called? Rekindle their love in one way or the other. But any woman that thinks that a man should be at home with you, you, you are in the same house and he feels like dancing and you are refusing and you expect him every day to go to work and come back and you say, eh, I don't feel like it. And, you, and I said it in the morning, there are a lot of ways where you can help. I use the word, help a man's ministry. No, 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 no. Okay, Kim said, I, okay, let me read it first. Uh, some I don't agree that men can never be satisfied because women too can never be. No, I say some men. Some men that there's nothing lacking. If you ask them, why were you unfaithful? They cannot even give you a reason. My wife did. What did your wife do? She didn't do anything to me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just got carried away. Oh, my friend had the girlfriend. Uh, my friend had the girlfriend side chick. I wanted to try it too. Uh, my, my wife does not deserve it. But there's some men that there's some men that are, that's why I say some. I didn't say all. There are some men that no matter what the woman does, they will still go out there and go and make a fool of themselves. Okay, at least now you got me. That was what I said. So basically, these two comments. Let me read the comments again. Okay, these two comments. I, I wonder sometimes, there are some women, to be honest with you, have no business being married, my opinion. There are some women, did I say men? I mean women. There are some women that have no business getting married because they are not interested in communication. They are not, I said it that, okay, even if you don't want the whole, you're not in the mood, there are a lot of ways to help a man's ministry, if you know what I mean. There are a lot of ways to help a man reach paradise, if you know what I mean. There are a lot of ways, other ways. Not until you do the full, do you know what I mean? There are a lot of other ways, right? Because, okay, let me just read it to comment because I don't want this video to be too long. Because, but if you say, I don't want it, it's going to be like this, then why? That's not a marriage. Especially when one person still wants it. And you say, I don't care. The man wants to do bedroom dance. And you say, you don't want it. And then you say, you don't care whether he wants it or not. That is not a marriage. I, we hear about marriages, they say they've, been, they've not touched each other for one year. They've not touched each other for five years. I'm like, that's not marriage. What is marriage about? Especially when, you see, if both of you have lost interest in bedroom dance, hallelujah. It's okay if both of you are on the same page. But if one person still desires it, the other person, has, you, they, they, you must have a compromise. You must find ways to help each other. You see, eh, that's another thing. Yeah, so it's true. So women just want to be married and have children, and that's it. But that, no, that's not all. That's not all. Marriage is more than just having children or having a beautiful house. So women feel like, if, let me tell you, you can be the best woman in every other way. When I say every other way, the house is spotless. The children, like you clean the house and scrub the house. You do his laundry. You do everything. You can do all of that. But if you lack when it comes to bedroom dance, believe me. Believe me. Your marriage is on a shaky leg. Is it that he's going to go, okay, my wife is she's a good woman. Who, 
Yeah, if you just come in, you can watch it later and see what we're saying. So basically, the man may say, oh yeah, my wife is a good woman, but she doesn't do this. He will go look for it somewhere. Men struggle. Women too. But it unfortunately, it seems to be mostly, you know, a lot of women neglect this aspect of a relationship. You know, if a man is not getting it at all anymore, he would cheat or definitely the marriage will be affected. The love and the bond, yeah, it affects the bond even in a marriage. Don't play with it. Those ones that say, if it's me, I would have kicked him out. You kick him out, you get another man. Let me tell you, another man. Or else you cut off the snake between his legs. That he doesn't have it at all. Or there is a problem, health problem. So if you're going to find another man, make sure you look for a man that has health problems. That his kidney does not uh, stand at attention. There is no show. Then you go say, okay, two of us have the same problem. We're not interested. But as long as it's a normal not normal let me use let me not use what normal because people that don't do it are still normal but like i'm talking about normal drive the normal drive a man would have men need it and to say you want to kick your husband out because uh, he wants it and you don't want it you're just deceiving yourself because the next one you will bring will want it to how many men you could men you could you marry and you divorce you marry and so why don't you fix the one that you have and if let me tell you eh it's even love that is making a man to be saying, you know, the giver, and he's still coming to look for it from you. Is that it? Because he loves you. If he doesn't love you, he'll go get it somewhere else. Why did the love came? Am I, am I lying? I'm telling the truth. You can't look for Antonieta said, no difference from how they did just in period. Amazing how, how, mm -mm. Okay, let me read it well. The, no difference from how they did Justin period. Amazing how, amazing how because Cheta is African, you all are trying to defend him. A man is a man no matter what color. Hmm. I don't think Justin ever complained that uh, Cora was not giving him bedroom dance hall. I don't, I've never heard, I've, Justin has never complained in that department. <laughs> did he ever complain in that? No. Never heard Justin complain in that department. So I think you're just coming and you don't know how what the topic is really about. So it's two different two different things. Do you know what I mean? So you're completely you've gone off. So um, like I said, it wasn't going to be a long a long one. Let me read the two comments I'm responding to again, and I can end it here. So you can never underestimate the importance of bedroom dance. It it just does something. Like I was saying, if a man that even loves his wife, a man that doesn't love his wife, would just say, oh, she's not giving it to me, and he was correct. When he said that in a country like Nigeria, because unfortunately there's so much poverty. Excuse me. So much poverty in Nigeria. Oh my goodness, sorry. I just heard. So much poverty in Nigeria and women are at, a, are at a disadvantage because our society raised men to be the hustlers, the money makers, and raised women to prepare to be a housewife. Do you know what I mean? So to a great extent, the, the, when it comes to uh, money, um, uh, uh, financial, when it comes to financial issues, there's a massive gap between men and women. Men are typically the ones with money in Nigeria, when a lot of women do not. So any, uh, when a woman is poor and is living in poverty, the temptation to want to fall for a man is so much easier. So when he said that in a country like Nigeria, where he can easily just get another woman, he was telling the truth. He was telling you guys the absolute truth. For him then to ignore the fact that women fool every way. And let me tell you, there's something he say in my language. You see, in your sorrow wine, ya John and John, I'll translate it now, Igbo language. In your sorrow wine, ya John and John, in your no No matter how not good looking a woman is, let me use the plain word, no matter how ugly a woman is, something sweet is at her waist. You know what I mean? So he doesn't even have to, if, even if it's, uh, as well, he doesn't even have to go look for the most beautiful woman around or whatever. He just say, let me tell you, there's some men that they say they slept with house girl. They slept, okay, there's a pastor now that they said was sleeping with young girls. Apparently the wife is living in another country and the man is living in Nigeria. So, and I'm like, Pam, for like years, for years, I think they said about five years. What do you think was going to happen? In most cases, Translate it over. Hey, or long. Ah, uh, I can't say it in Yoba. Ah, no, it's too complicated. No, 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 no. So it's too hard for me to say in Yoba. So let me tell you guys. And the pastor was in Nigeria. The wife was in abroad. 
I don't know what she said she did find abroad. It's not money that is their problem. And then the man was touching. They said he was touching even underage girls. And I'm like, when a couple have not be saying that paper be problem, so I cannot return because like you know, you don't have the papers to travel and go visit your husband or whatever. And a poverty no corner, they want to japa. You are not japa and the money is there, the pastor is rich from tithes and offering. And you left him in Nigeria and went to the man has the money, the man has the every resource, respect that he gets from and then you did how do you think a man will be in Nigeria for five years without touching anybody? Uh -uh. Let's be telling ourselves the truth, women. Let's be telling ourselves the truth. If you don't want to do bedroom dance, please don't marry. Or if you want to marry, make sure from day one you tell the man, say, I don't like this thing at all, at all. So the man can decide whether he wants to choose you or he wants to go and choose a bagelie down the road. Because it's important in a marriage. It's very important. As long as every other aspect, you, are, you cook the best meal, men like food. Who don't like food? Me too, I like food. You, the house is clean and all the other things you do as a wife. <laughs> don't joke when it comes to bedroom dancing because let me tell you, believe it or not a man would rather have a dirty house and not, you know, he will come and clean it by himself than to not have that you see that thing like I said in the, in the other video it's like a sneeze when it is coming, you have to like you must do it, you know, it's natural in their body that they need to release they need to release so that they can get themselves leaving a man without is torture is torture so for him i didn't read the comment let me read it so some so people left a comment um somebody left a comment in the morning and said and i, I said and as for cheta going to her father because the that's cheta the man went to his father's wife i'm sorry her wife's father and said and uh, 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 going to her father and his mother because he complained to his own mother too and uh, to complain i i'd have sent him packing oh sorry i forgot to say it this must be an Americana. In Nigeria, you don't send the man packing from me. <laughs> Am I lying? Nigeria's here. Come on. You don't kick, kick a man out of his house. Say what you happen. For waiting. We don't do it though. In Nigeria, you kick a man. But even their brother, they do kicking. I, I, I believe he's being abused. And it's more to kick a man out. Kick a man. People do it. I don't support where anybody abuses the, you know, I can, even in Nigeria, there are some men that can just kick a woman out because the culture, you know, they can get away with it. I believe is 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 wrong in every way. But any small thing, kick, okay? So, by the way, you cannot kick Cheta, you that like say is Cheta, you cannot kick Cheta out of his house. He's Nigeria, you know, man is, uh, they don't they kick man out of, sorry, they don't kick men out of their homes in Nigeria. You know, they happen. They never born you well. They never bond that woman where that will kick a man out of his own house in Nigeria. <laughs> Even if the man is a, is a, what's it called now? A jelly that has no guts. His family, now mama. <laughs> hey God. Imagine a Nigerian man will come to his mother and say, my wife kicked me out. Eh? Eh? The mother and the sisters, they will come there and teach you the lesson of your life in Nigeria. <laughs> Let me see that comment. I have learned a new phrase. <laughs> You're welcome, Kim. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Kim. So, it is even the white, the man. Uh, uh, let me say it now for the non-Nigerians that are here. And I think it's the same for most African countries. Let's say even West African, uh, Afri African countries. You will not say, as a woman, you kick your husband out. It doesn't happen. His whole village... They don't need you. His mother and her sisters, that is the man's mother's and uh, mother and aunties and sisters will come and face you because sometimes the men will leave the women to handle you. You will kick a son out of a house. They don't do it in Nigeria. So you that you say you will kick Cheta house, uh, Cheta out. Sorry, you not in Nigeria. You cannot. In America, you can be doing that one, not in Nigeria. So mm -hmm. even he said, uh, I'd have sent him packing to live with his uh, with either of them. So I already said you cannot kick him out and never let him darken my doorstep again. You are even saying mine. Nigerian man's house is his house till the day he dies. Or else by chance, which is rare, that he married the woman that already owned the property before he married her. You understand? Uh -huh. So that's why you now say, okay, he came and met you with property, but not on a normal ground. And he says uh, the family is seriously screwed up. <laughs> you think the family is screwed up because the man went and spoke to his father. 
probably another lie to scam for money and views always conning and scamming for money well they, there was nothing about money in that particular video to be honest with you guys oh the other comment i'm gonna i'm gonna round this up now and he says another comment says if a man have to complain to the father of his wife and go to his mother because he's not getting okay you know what i mean that's a weak ass man what should you have done he should tie her leg <laughs> sorry like tell me what cheta should have done if his wife is not in the mood and he's a man that loves his wife and is trying to resolve it in a good way so you think what he should have done is you will bring rope and tie one let, let, let's be honest now so he should have brought rope to prove that he's he's not a weak man abby he will bring rope and tie one of the wife leg here and tie one there tie hands and then is that what you will not call a strong man or you want him to force her like i said this is not foreign as they write all this is. so you want him now to now force her and say ah you must do it what is that called is that not called rape so people don't know you can rape your wife oh. because it's your wife does not mean if you force even your wife it's a crime I know in Nigeria you may get you may get away with it, but Western society you can be locked up for it, right? So what should you have done to prove? You see, eh, I don't know we women. I don't even know what we want anymore. A good man that is looking for peaceful resolution is called a weak man, right? Then the man that take it by force, the man that wants violence, is the one that is the strong man. So we don't want men that have emo um, emotional maturity. Handle things amicably or peacefully. You call him a weak man. Eh? Okay. That's what this comment says. He's a weak man. Um, he said a real... Oh, she even said a real man will wait it out. Not run to mommy. Wait it out. I don't know why men are not really commenting here. Guys, come and tell me. When your body they shake, how long can you... Can, can you wait it out? How many months can you like, last without uh, spilling your juice? Let the men educate us. I know some people watch this later. Please educate us because let women, wives are watching. This is about saving marriages or saving relationships. You know? I understand what you are trying to say. You another for, for to, I don't understand. I don't understand that comment. Anyways, so that's how I feel about it. I feel like I believe he handled it well. Right by trying to find, they said as since then they sorted it out according to them. Oh, uh -huh. they said they sorted it out and everything is okay now and all of that, and that is good. Excuse me. And then they can live happily ever after. Let me tell you guys. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I just ate before doing this video. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Let me say this. They've sorted according to them. They sorted it out and now everything is all hunky dory. Everything is okay and all of that. This guy is very young, right? And he's going to be very active, if you know what I mean, for a very long time. You know what I mean? That's another thing, but when the age gap is not too much. Because when the age gap is big, sometimes maybe they can age together when it comes to that department, right? Okay, somebody is giving up a man's perspective. Summer, when my wife is not in the mood, all I do is to negotiate calmly calmly and i always get it <laughs> okay he said when my wife is not in the mood i always negotiate uh calmly da, 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 da. all i do is to negotiate calmly i i always get it nicely that's good but can i tell you something else uh, let me ask what if you've negotiated in all your calmness and you still do not get it from according to cheta he was not getting it everything he tried nothing was working what would you do what would you do? Can I give you another suggestion? It's only a suggestion no? if she lets. Because that's what I'm saying, that women have to try to help their ministry. Right? Now, when I say that, is that, when I say help their ministry, is there are a lot of ways. But if she didn't agree in three days, then she knows there is problem. Uh -huh. That's a man's perspective. But there are a lot of other ways. Oh, some men, some, you can do it this other way. If the woman allow you. Hear me. I was replying to this comment about yeah, one. I think it's a way of getting. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. But anyways, um, this person thinks that the they made that video for views. Well, we can still grab something. They can get the views, but we can get the lessons and the message in it. I will find my happiness elsewhere if she refuses. Okay. Now, there are other ways that 
a woman, a man, some, hey God, how do I say it without saying it? Okay, there are a lot of ways, like I made a video earlier. Okay, men that can actually leave us comments and give women ideas how to help them in situations like that. And it can maybe they cannot go the whole band. For example, we're talking in the morning about if, what if she's in that time of the month or whatever. There are a lot of ways. You understand? You can use, okay? The, you can do that. There's a magic you can do with that, okay? At the same time, there's another one whereby he can, he can rub against you. Hey, God, how am I going to say? He can just rub against you. He can manage that one on a very bad day. But you shouldn't let the bad days be very plenty. Because it's important. Right? There's this saying that all a man needs is a full stomach and an empty ball. Does that make sense? Uh, We're all adults here, so we can have this conversation. There are ways around it. It's about saving marriages and saving relationships. These things are important to be talked about. And I'll say it again that I believe, in my opinion, he did the right thing by addressing it and solving another problem. And hopefully it's What's it called now? Um, like I'm saying, he's a young man. He's a very young man. Not even just by his age. But if you look at him, you can tell, you know, you know what I'm saying? You can tell that he's very energetic. And he's going to be for a long time. You know, you, he's going to be for a long time. Somebody left a comment thinking that the person thinks um, Nancy is older than him. He's, she's not older than him. You know, she looks more mature. She looks way more mature than him. She looks physically. You know, but he looks, he looks like a, honestly, some, people, some men are like that. He looks like a, a teenager sometimes. I'm not saying he looks young per se, but he's just, like he looks good, if that makes sense. He looks good for his age or whatever. But when you look at two of them, he looks younger than her. And, um, and you know, typically women mature quicker than men. And when the age gap is not like a lot, like 10 and 15 and 20 or whatever, um, um, the... As they get older, she will get more, um, less drive than him. Because a man in his 40s, a man in his 50s, a man in his 60s is still at it, like saying, now today they start. That's it. But think about a woman in her 60s. Sometimes they are already like, okay, we've been there, done that, they are done. But the man is still, I think the man did the right thing in my opinion. At least we can hear from that's the man's perspective as well. Okay, I'm going to end it here, guys. I have things to do. Thank you all for coming. I wanted to read those two comments to you guys and just to address it. Please, guys, leave your opinion. Can I get my love and likes, please? Can I get my love and likes? That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for stars. I'm not asking love and likes. Because I'm, my education I give on a year, free of charge. I'm giving big education. It's important. Important education. Let me collect my love. Yes, thank you very much. My love, the love, and click the love heart and the likes before I go. Let me just collect them and then I can go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More, 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 more. You guys are stingy with love and likes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, we're going now. Are you guys stingy like this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me my likes now. I finished my, my speech is over. If you just come in now, you can rewatch the video to get the message in it because we're done. We try to keep it short and just straight to the point. Okay, we're done. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. I see them here now. Thank you all so much. If you're just joining, you can watch it and know what we talked about. And please contribute your opinion in the comment section. And you never know who would watch it and learn something from it. Social media is a powerful tool, unfortunately, unfortunately. Some people use it for drama, saga, whatever you call it. But there are other ways we can use it to help each other and to better each other's lives. Um, you know, I'll leave it at that. Till next time, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Now, now people call